scrapyard today looking at just how powerful electromagnets are. Now they do some really big jobs and it's all because they have a powerful magnetic field that can turn on and off. Let's go see it in action. Now I'll show you how we make electromagnets so strong. All electric currents, like the one going through this wire, create a magnetic field. It's actually a real-life force field that attracts some types of metal. The stronger the current, the stronger the magnetic field. And if you wrap up wire in a coil, called the solenoid, the magnetic field grows stronger. And get this, if you put a ferromagnetic material, like iron, inside the solenoid, the magnetic field becomes stronger than the magnetic field produced by just passing a current through a wire. Magnetic fields allow this electromagnet to pick up these metal scraps. But remember, when the current turns off, that means the magnetic field turns off too. But scrapyards aren't the only place where you can find electromagnets. Electromagnets are being used all around us, every day. You can find them in cell phones, hard drives, and even computers. Electromagnets are also changing the way we travel and explore our surroundings. We're here at the Miami Metro Zoo, and believe it or not, the motor in this monorail is actually run by electromagnets. Now, this baby might be a little bit older, but some of the models of monorail trains being built right now can reach speeds of 112 kilometers per hour. And that's nothing compared to the magnetic levitation trains, or maglev trains, that are being built all around the world right now. Maglev trains like the ones in Japan, China, and Korea float above their track or guideway using basic magnetic principles. Since they don't have wheels on the track, there's very little friction, which helps them reach speeds of almost 500 kilometers per hour. On a train like that, you can go from New York to Miami in just about four hours. But how does it work? The electromagnets in maglevs are not used to power a motor. In fact, they don't even have what we think of as a motor. Instead, they work a lot like magnets do when opposite poles attract and like poles repel each other. The track or guideway is covered in electric coils that create a magnetic field which repels the magnets that are on the bottom of the train. This allows it to float anywhere from 1 to 10 centimeters above the guideway. To make the train move, current created by an electrical power source is sent to coils in the walls of the guideway. This current is constantly reversed, changing the polarity of the magnetic field in a way that pushes and pulls the train along by repelling the large magnets underneath the train. The end result is a really fast train that's quiet, doesn't release CO2 into the atmosphere, and can turn off with just a flick of a switch. So today, we learned that we use electromagnets every day, and they may just revolutionize the way we travel our planet. So until next time, never stop exploring your world. Now get out of the way, you gotta move. You're gonna get hit! Here's something you can try. See if you can make your own electromagnet by wrapping insulated copper wire around an iron nail and attaching it to the end of a D-cell battery. How many paperclip cars, like the electromagnet at the scrapyard, can you pick up? You can even challenge your friends. 